Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys, I just discovered some new patterns from Simplicity Creative Group. They are the new bird of style patterns. So let's go check them out and see what we've got. Berta is always one of those really fun pattern reviews because, you know, they're a little wacky. <laughs> so it's fun to talk about because they're always so interesting and there's, I always have a lot to say about them. But okay, this first one is just like I said, a little on the wacky side. Look at the styling here. It's awesome. Okay, so it looks like we are... What are we looking at here? This jacket? Yeah, I think it's just this jacket. So we've got a severely dropped shoulder um, with a sleeve and it looks like they've, they've got you underlining it with some kind of shearling. And then these um, toggle uh, closures, which is cool. The collar might be sewn sewn on. I can't really tell with the shirling. It's all kind of one. So cute. Let's see what this looks like. Here's a longer version. And her collar might be a little bit different. And is this a belt? This might be a belt. And this does not have the rolled up cuff, but it does still have the same sleeve. So here they are together. So, uh, I still can't tell if the colors are the same or not. Patch pockets on the longer one. <laughs> I think I think they are different because I think this one has the toggle closures, which would make this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're definitely different. Okay, sorry. Um, let's go to this photo. I'll show you. So see how this one has no collar really and just like flaps open. And then this one has the sewn on collar that actually stands up, you know, higher on your neck. So that's what we're working with on that. That's pretty cool. Um, they don't typically give us a lot of information on the back of the envelopes here. <laughs> and they always use these little illustrations instead of words. And I, I think maybe that's to make it more universal. Like it doesn't have to be in any specific English, but sometimes it can be very confusing because you don't know what they are. So this is obviously the toggle and this is obviously little snaps. Um, where the snaps go, I, I don't know. You only need one of them. So I don't know. Um, so they're recommending fleece, knit fleece, uh, imitation leather, teddy plush, uh, for our fabrics. And then they only give you the length and the width on the finished garment measurements. And then only centimeters in the uh, fabric requirements. This does say loose fitting, which is a helpful indicator. But yeah, you have to do a little bit more research to find out what size to get. They are offering them all in one pattern, 8 to 18, all in one. So that's good. Oh, here's a little description. Slightly oversized jackets. The long, casually tied jacket does without a collar, made here in an ethnic print knit fabric. The cropped jacket features a stand collar and has toggle fasteners. Both styles have facings of different fabrics to add extra pep. Choose either a contrasting collar for the facings or use a whole different fabric. That's cool. Okay, still the same. All right, great. All right, now we've got a skirt, uh, front fastening, mini or midi length with pocket variations. Okay. So here is one in like a wide corduroy belt carriers, patch pockets, snaps, has a little bit of a flare to it, which is cute. Here's a longer one. This is in more of like a cotton. I like the piping detail and this one has buttons. 
Did they forget to button one? Isn't there supposed to be a button right here? I think so. Whoops. Style with a little graphic tee and a chambray shirt tied up. That's cute. Here they are together. So in the back, you really only have like a little dart <clears throat> on both of them. But they do seem to be somewhat circle skirty. You know? Not just like straight A-line, but more of like a drapey situation happening along the hem which is interesting. Here's the line drawings, bigger. These patch pockets are interesting. I didn't notice them on her skirt, you know, because the fabric's so busy. I thought that they were like pocket bags, you know. Okay, um, so semi-fitted. Here's your fabric requirements. Um, I think this means you need interfacing, possibly. This is the snap, like enamel snap buttons, regular buttons, and piping. Cotton fabrics, lightweight denims, viscose rayon corduroy are your fabric suggestions. And then our little description. Oh wait, the sizes are 8 to 18, all in one. These skirts will be among your favorites all year round. Make them up in imitation leather, corduroy, or lightweight viscose rayon. Choose either the mini or midi, or sew them both. <laughs> the shaped waistband guarantees a good fit, while the flared form is so comfortable and easy to wear. Pockets and a button or snap fastening are eye-catching details. I agree. All right, here's the third one. Pull on elastic waist. All right. I've said it before, like, what is it with 2019 being the year of the elastic waist pull-on pants? But we've got the wide leg, crop, or the full length <clears throat> to choose from. So this one has like a little belt detail. I'm assuming that's the cropped length. This one has more like a cargo pant detailing. And it looks like they're only elasticized in the back, which is nice. I think it gives a clean look to the front, but still fits well in the back. Yeah, so this one has a little tie or sash. And then this one has those same pockets as that skirt. That's cool. And then one's just shorter than the other one. Um, you need interfacing. This is elastic. This is their symbol for elastic. And they're recommending rayon, crepe, tinsel. So really lightweight fabrics, actually. Um, probably because they are just so drapey. But that tinsel twill would be lovely, I think. These are a little long. I don't know if they intend for them to be like that, but cute outfits. Very fashion-y, you know. Um, oops, I didn't mean to click away, my bad. Uh, the sizes are 8 to 18. Um, great news. <laughs> Loose fitting pants are back in style. <laughs> so casual yet so chic. Pants view A are long with patch pockets. Pants view B come an ankle length and with tie bands. That's a funny description to me. Great news. Okay. Next up, we have a dress. I love fall dresses. I mean, there's something to be said for like summers, like spaghetti straps and like open necklines and sleeveless stuff, but I just think fall dresses make such a statement. Okay, uh, women's dresses with princess seaming neckline and sleeve variations. And this is only available in 18 to 28. Um. So here she is, looks like, looks like a pretty simple skater dress, I guess, with the princess seams up to the arm side. Okay, and it looks like the sleeves are obviously long with some kind of like slit detail here. And then just like a high like jewel neckline, I guess. Um, oh, this one has a V neckline, that's also pretty. And then like a shorter sleeve with a little like flouncy thing. I think this is a little low-waisted on her. I feel like it should be up here to hit at her natural waist. 
Um, yeah, so there's little princess seams actually, but also the darts and then the back also has princess seams. That's interesting. And then a little invisible back zipper. Yeah, obviously to get into it with the waist seam. It's just so simple and classic. It looks like a million bucks on everyone. All right, here's your pattern requirements. I mean, your fabric requirements. You'll need some interfacing. I'm assuming the neckline might be faced. Um, and then you need a zipper and they're recommending light wools, crepe fabrics and blends. That's nice. And then they don't offer any uh, finished garment measurements other than the, the length of the dress and the width of the bottom. Um, but I did want to see if they had a size chart immediately available to see, you know, what sizes this actually covers. In my opinion, or in my experience, Berta does tend to run really, not really, but it runs smaller than your big four patterns. Um, so I don't know if I would fit into an 18 or not without seeing the size chart. I'm sure it's on here somewhere, but um, that would be a contender. She's cute. Chic dresses with figure flattering lines made up with panel seams for a close fit on top set off by a loose skirt. Choose between long sleeves with small vents or three quarter length sleeves adorned with a pretty flounce. Perfect. All right, next up, more pull on pants. Shock of the century. Okay. Pull on with sash or tie, crop leg with ankle zipper option. Okay, that's cute. The size range here is eight to 18. Let's see. So these look to be elasticized all the way around. And then the sash maybe is sewn on somewhere. I don't know. And then you've just got your little ankle length there. She has the one with the little side zippers. That's cute. And this one has like a little drawstring. Let's see if this, no, it's not going to show us. Yeah, so the back does not have the sash and the front does, which makes me think that the, the sash is sewn into the side seams. So there you have it. Again, probably really lightweight fabrics on this. Lightweight cotton, viscose, rayon, crepe fabrics, and blends. Yeah, they definitely want it to be a little drapey. So you need some elastic, you need piping tape, and a zipper. Where does the piping tape go on B? Oh, right. Is it little on the sides? Yeah. Maybe. Is that on the sides and then into the zipper? Okay. This does look to be like slightly angled now that I'm looking at it too, which I don't know what that's about. It's not in the drawing or is it? Is that angled? Maybe. <clears throat> um, and then your fabric requirements in meters. <laughs> okay, cute. All right, now we've got a little girl's pattern, a little boy pattern. Okay, here's another Mrs. pattern. Uh, Mrs. Leggings designed for two-way stretch fabrics fastens at side hip. Okay. Again, the styling is always so on point with Berta. But these fabrics, I can't tell you one thing what's happening here. Maybe there's a cuff there. Let's see if this one's any better. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> a little ruffle hip action on your leggings. That's an interesting vibe with her sock boobies. Okay, let's get to some line drawings. Okay, so the first one actually has this little like, I don't know, is that like a military detail? I do like the really large waistband though, that's cool. But a side zipper for leggings, I don't really get that. Couldn't you just be able to pull them on? You know? This little ruffle thing too, I don't know about that. I mean, I guess it's sort of cute. And I like ruffles. So <laughs> if I'm on the bins about it, oh, I don't know. Okay, interfacing, I guess they're saying you need a twin needle maybe, a zipper, some buttons. 
yeah, I don't know why why you're fastening it. I just think you should be able to pull it on for two-way stretch fabrics, cotton stretch fabrics, and firm jersey. I guess it's two-way stretch, but like not leggings, like more like ponty or like stretch sateen, maybe. And that in those cases, you would need a zipper because they're not super stretchy. It doesn't say anywhere either how much stretch, like on the other big four patterns it'll tell you, or even indie patterns it'll tell you X percent of stretch. So it doesn't say that here. It might say it on the pattern pieces that Berta does tend to put a lot of information like on the actual pattern pieces. So you'd have to buy it <laughs> and then figure it out. Um, 8 to 18 on this and skinny stretch pants with a shaped waistband and side zipper to guarantee a great fit. I do love a side zipper actually. Pants view A are long, pants view B come in ankle length with turn up cuffs. Add extra interest with details. A frill for view A, an interesting waistband for view B. The buttons are simply decorative. Okay, well there you have it. Um, next up is a hoodie or high neck sleeve and pocket variations on a sweatshirt. Okay, this looks to be very loose fitting, very long, drop shoulder, cute little um, rib knit cuffs and band here. This one omits those two things but looks pretty much the same everywhere else. Oh, and it doesn't have the kangaroo pocket. Oh, and this one has a hood and this one just has like a cowl neck or stand collar or something. Yeah, very oversized though. And I get that that's kind of like the look right now, but I don't love very oversized things, so. <clears throat> All right, uh, very loose fitting, yep. And then your fabric, and then you need a twin needle, metal eyelets, cording, and that must be the rib, uh, rib knit uh, wristbands and waistband. And then sweatshirting and fiber fleece required or recommended for the fabrics. 8 to 18 on the sizing, and then it says, sweatshirts and hoodies are both great garments for many occasions, <laughs> really, and are sure staples in your wardrobe. Sew these easy styles in your favorite color however you please. Well, thank you. Thank you for the permission to do that. All right, now we've got a stretch knit top with sleeve variations, cute. So it looks like a little standish collar, elastic at the, like just below the elbow, I guess, and then fairly loose fitting everywhere else. Here it is tucked in. Uh, those aren't elasticized, I don't think, just little cuffs, like loose fitting cuffs. Maybe a different neckband, neckline. Yeah, definitely a different neckline. There's actually three of them. So we have this version also, which has this like drop shoulder sewn on ruffly sleeve situation and a waistband. <laughs> what do we think about the waistband? Um, I don't, it's been a long time since I've sewn a top with a waistband that's intended to not be pajamas. It also looks like this one has something happening underneath it as well. Is that also elastic? So I wonder what that looks like untucked. I just assumed it was just like this. Huh, interesting. It says of them that it's loose fitting, which is different than very loose fitting. I just want to point that out. So yeah, each version uses elastic and B uses the most. So it looks like it's kind of done the way this is, but with less fabric below it. You know how this has all this. So it's like a 
elasticized drop waist? I don't know what that would look like. And they don't show us, so I have to use my imagination. Um, jersey, sweatshirting, and knits. I mean, maybe out of a sweatshirt fabric, maybe have like a lightweight something. This would be pretty in a jersey. This, I'm just not sure. I, I, I can't picture it in my mind. Um, voluminous sleeves and variations are the topic of these fashionable tops. These descriptions are giving me so much life. Here are three to choose from in a loose fit with or without elastic at the hem. Okay. Okay, so we are moving along to this little poncho looking number here. Uh, women's ponchos designed for stable knits. Actually, quick question. Are ponchos considered like uh, culturally inappropriate to say? Like I know I don't ever like to say kimono because a kimono is a very specific thing. I imagine poncho is probably the same thing. Am I right? Let me know if you know anything about Mexican culture and the term poncho. Um, just want to make sure that I'm, you know, not saying anything insensitive, um, even though many designers <clears throat> uh, are not catching on so quickly. Another one is harem pants. I think that's another one. Anyways, okay, so this is size 18 to 28. I guess I'm going to call it like a cape, <laughs> um, just in case. And let's look at the pictures big. So, well, this is kind of beautiful. It's a little, you know, shapeless and has no real style lines or anything like that. But I think it looks really chic to throw it on over something if you need to just stay a little bit warm. That's kind of cool, especially if you're traveling or something. Here's the original, not the original, but the first picture. Uh, the differences aren't immediately clear. Uh, one is kind of asymmetrical, one has kind of like an open notched collar, and the other one is more of a cowl neck. So I think those are probably the main differences there. <coughs> um, here are your fabric requirements in meters. You just need a double needle or like a... Uh, cover stitch you could also do. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly not complicated. It's, you know, one giant rectangle, really. And suitable for jersey and knits. And I'd also argue, you know, some lighter weight ponties, even some wool blends. I mean, I think any, any knit. And to be perfectly honest, well, I mean, I guess you wouldn't want to do it in a woven because that would just be not so warm and, and cozy, I guess. But yeah, like, I guess sweatshirting and French terry, all of that would work. <clears throat> so here are the really sort of unhelpful line drawings. <laughs> um, and then let's read the description. Wonderfully clever design. These casual capes are, a, are simply a long panel of fabric sewn together at one edge. The collar at the neckline is optional. So there you go. Cape, perfect. All right, this is a blouse with a cape effect. Uh, so does that just mean like oversized? I don't know what that means really, a cape effect blouse. So it's button front all the way. It's got a little stand collar. Something kind of happening with the sleeve, maybe a raglan, a variation on a raglan. It's got some kind of button closure here, but I can't really tell. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's not technically a sleeve. Like the sleeve is attached to the bodice. So it is like a cape, but you do have some darts here, which is nice. I don't know what I think about this. <clears throat> I mean, seems comfortable. <laughs> There's nothing to be said for that. Um, okay, here are your fabric requirements. 
you would need some interfacing and some buttons. I think buttons for the front and also it's a very interesting concept, this shirt cape thing. I don't know. Uh, crepe, viscose, rayon, cotton fabrics, and silk. So yeah, anything lightweight and drapey. I, I don't hate it. I don't know. I do like to, the, the reason why I don't love capes, and this is so silly, but I do like to wear a purse on my shoulder and you can't really do that because the purse kind of jacks up the side seam and that's really weird and uncomfortable to wear. But that's a silly reason to, to not like a blouse. Um, 18 to 28 is the sizing. If you love a cape, you'll love these blouses. They have interesting lines and are super casual. They drape nicely and team perfectly with slim cut separates, meaning like leggings. I mean, that's a pretty chic way to pull off leggings as pants, right? I mean, yeah. And how comfortable must that be, you know? Hmm. I'm, I'm intrigued by this one. Uh, okay. Next, we have princess seamed and lined jacket. That's nice. Let's get a better look. Oh, so it doesn't have a collar, no buttons or anything. This seems to be like a very, well, I was about to say beginner friendly, but then I noticed the welt pocket. And welt pockets can be very finicky and challenging. If you have practiced them a bunch, uh, they get better every time, I promise, but they are a little just annoying in the beginning. Uh, it looks like this sleeve is a little bit off her shoulder cap. And I don't know if that's the way it's intended to be or not. But yeah, this uh, is a beautiful style line here. Let's see the other one. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Like a little uh, pin tuck situation, I guess. And then these are still technically welt pockets. Um, still, you know, pretty advanced. I wonder if there's a shoulder pad in there. You know, that might help it sit better if you put a shoulder pad in. 18 to 28 on the sizing. Here's your fabric and your lining requirements. Interfacing, um, some hook and eyes. Yeah, it's cute. Wool fabrics, crepe fabrics? Mm -hmm. Maybe like a, like a heavier weight crepe and gabardine yeah she's cute and again the shoulder still looks a little bit wide set here so and they aren't requiring shoulder pads so that might help a little bit but I like I like both of them honestly and it uh, I spoke earlier saying it didn't have closures but it does the hook and eyes are installed in the center front you guys know I love a cropped jacket so all right, 18 to 28, the lines of these chic jackets will elongate your figure and easily take you from day to night. They feature a, high, a slightly high neckline. The bands along both edges of jacket view A underline the sleek styling. Wear these jackets loosely open or closed with hook and eye fastening. Okay. That's a nice jacket. I, let's see, was there, I wonder if there's a facing. Yeah, it looks like there is a facing. Yeah, these are nice. All right, now we've got a little stretch knit dress. Cute. We've seen a lot of these, these knit dresses coming out lately. This one has some hmm, darts and pleats to create kind of like, you know, an illusion for the waistline, which is nice. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe their upper range sizing, the 18 to 28 sizing, has a really wide shoulder. So if you're gonna make any of these, definitely check that against your own shoulder. These all seem to be so wide set. But knee length, and then a little like uh, three quarter length sling on that one. And then this one, might be the same. I'm not really noticing 
Or are the pleats gone? Let's see. Yeah, there's two versions. Okay, yeah, one with the pleated. Oh, it's kind of like a wrappy overlay thing. No, those are seams. Oh, fisheye darts, yes. <laughs> and a little um, sleeve elbow dart. That's also a lovely detail to help you get that like range of motion um, when the sleeves are so slip, like so closely fitting. This one has the pleats up here instead of down here. That's cool. Yeah, cute. I like the fabrics, but not so much the styling on these. I don't know. And honestly, outside of that first pattern, the styling has not been that wild for Berta style standards. Um, it's actually, everyone's looked really modern and chic. Um, okay, fabric and then interfacing and a zipper is all you need. And then it's a jersey dress. So they recommend jersey. Cool. That's cute. You know, I love the back. The little vent is a nice detail to help you like move and walk. This little dart here, all of these here. Yeah, this is like, you know, made to fit a woman's figure. It's lovely. All right, now we've got a tunic or top designed for knits. Okay, this one's very hippy dippy. Um, and again, hard to see the fabric, or hard to see the style lines, but maybe a drop shoulder here, elasticized cuff, and a drawstring at the waist. What's this one? Oof. That neckline looks awful. Like the way it's sewn, I mean. Yeah, okay. So... They put little darts right here. That's weird. This one's, I mean, maybe it's the fabrication on this one. I have a real hard time with crushed velvets. <laughs> like they just don't photograph well and I don't know why pattern companies keep using them, using it for their samples. And the belt is like separate. I don't really love that. It's something else you have to keep up with, you know. Yeah, I'm very indifferent about this one. So you need some elastic for the sleeve and just like a cover stitch or a double needle or something. And they're recommending jersey, velour, or velvet. Okay. Okay. And then here's the backs, so we don't get to see those. Yeah, this is weird. The whole thing. I don't love the way the sleeves are set in. I don't love, like, the boxy shape. I don't really love this. <clears throat> okay. Angle pleats toward the shoulder seam pep up these plain, you said it, loose-fitting tops. You said it, not me. The hip-length version with long sleeves and elastic features a tie belt to accent your figure as you like. Okay. Next up, a little romper possibly. Pull, oh no, our favorite. Pull on pants in two lengths and top in two styles. Okay, so this seems to be like a fun little, you know, mock romper play suit type of thing. It's real cute. I love all the ruffle detail. You know I love ruffles. Um, and then the tie being on the side, that's kind of fun and different. Nice, big, like relaxed armholes. Deep V, probably a facing there. Cute. And then here's the other version that, is there some elastic there maybe? Different neckline. What is up with this? That looks weird there. Um, tunic length. And then, oh, are these pajamas? Now they're trying to sell this as pajamas now? Oh, they are pajamas. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so then, yeah. I mean, am I wrong to think that I would wear this out? <laughs> I thought that that was totally meant to be outside. 
<laughs> All right, so yeah, there's elastic in the waist there. Uh, the pants have little slash pockets, which is nice, and then still a little tie on the side. The top is super cute. The shorts are super cute. I would wear this to bed for sure, or even out, apparently. <laughs> so elastic interfacing um, and elastic thread. I guess that's what this is, elastic thread. And then they want you to make it out of some kind of jersey. Yeah, seems comfy. Like a rayon jersey for bed? Are you kidding? That would be dreamy, no pun intended. Okay, 8 to 18 on the size range here. Two pajama tops and bottoms, each nicely coordinated. So all four, and you can mix and match as you please according to season. That's true. Uh, long sleeve top with a round neckline, long pants with hip yoke pockets. I guess that's hip yoke pockets. I guess that's what slash pockets are also called. Yoke pockets. Huh. Sleeveless top with frills and a v-neck. Short pants adorned with frills. Frills are ruffles. I'm going to start calling ruffles frills exclusively. It's frills from here on out. Okay, next up. Pull on blouse with sleeve and yoke variations. Okay, this is an interesting sleeve. It looks like, is that a seam line there and there with little gathers? This is cute. I like this one. I can't really make heads or tails of what's going on. Yeah, it looks like there's a seam line there and there, and then they have this really pretty front yoke that I assume is also goes into the back. A little cuff on this one too. This is cute. So this version does not have the yoke in the front, but it does have it in the back. You can see here. And then this one has it in the front and back, and then they're encouraging you to add some kind of like trim here. I like this one. Okay, fabric yardage, um, interfacing, some kind of trim for this little detail, and a button, I'm assuming, for the neck in the back. Uh, lightweight cottons, viscose rayon, crepe fabrics, also lace fabrics also like maybe eyelid or even just like a sheer something or another you know that would be cute too i like these i think these are really cute i like this sleeve i don't know why specifically but i think it's very visually appealing i like that the gathers don't start way down here or way up here i like that there's like a little separate piece Romantic blouses in different styles, both with a small slit in the back and gathered cap sleeves. View B includes a lovely lace yoke. Cute. All right. Next up. Skirts in three lengths. Oh, <laughs> I was like skirts with neckline variations. Shirts in three lengths with neckline variations. Okay, so we've got this little country western version with this little tie-up detail. They, you know, <laughs> sewed it in plaid to really drive that <laughs> concept home. I wonder what it would look like, though, in, like, a solid, you know, less country western or still the same. And then you can't really tell how long this one is because they half-tucked it. They French-tucked it. Here's another version. This is, like, a stiffer fabric. It has a stand collar and buttons and a little cuff and then just a drop shoulder patch pocket and then here's a <laughs> what does that say meow to see you meow to see you okay um so this has a much deeper cuff and I love the shirt tail hem though. I mean, it is a longer length, but this is very flattering, I think, to the leg, makes him look nice and long. Um, yeah. Oh, the little tie things are like part of the collar. That's kind of cool. The backs have a yoke with a pleat or two. This one is longer, so it's short medium length and longer length. The belt is separate. 
yeah, these are all right. If you want like a little fun, trendy button down that's not too, not like one of the standard ones. I kind of like this one. <laughs> I don't know why I do, but I do. Okay, here are all the line drawings. Yeah, a lot of oversized things I'm noticing in this. You know, very loose fitting here and there. <clears throat> the uh, three shirt blouses and boyfriend look. Okay. View A features a pretty collar with a knot. View B, a small stand collar. View C is longer with rounded side slit edges and a tie belt to shape the blouse at the waist. Side slit edges. What does that even mean? You would think that that would mean that this is open along here somewhere. Round, rounded side slit. Rounded side slit. Yeah, I guess you just can't see it very well. Okay. Now we've got a pull-on dress designed for knit fabrics. Okay, like a hoodie dress. with an elastic waist, little drawstring, drawstrings in the hood, three quarter length sleeves. I can't tell what kind of sleeve it is. Maybe set in, I'm not sure. Well, that's cute. Again, with a very relaxed fit through this area, which, I mean, I guess I don't hate. But again, maybe the shoulder seems just too long. It doesn't look here like it's necessarily intended to be like that. Are there also pockets maybe? What's that little thing? Mm -mm. Okay, so fabric requirements you would need. Double needle or cover stitch. Elastic for this little area. And cording for the hoodie and the drawstring and then metal eyelets oh to get the cording through that's a that's a nice detail uh jersey knits and sweatshirting it's i mean a very basic design guys it's just like a skater dress but you know with little slightly elevated details um, certainly you can probably hack a pattern into this. It doesn't seem like that would be too difficult, but it's a cool concept. Yeah, here are our backs, like nothing really unique or special about that. I like them. I particularly like this one. A little short though. So keep that in mind. I just love a long sleeve sweater knit dress, you know? All right, eight to 18 on the sizing. Who needs jeans when you have dresses as casual and easy to wear as these? They are made to slip into and feel good. Dress view A is detailed with a neck band and long sleeves with sleeve bands. Dress view B features a hood and drawstring casing. Use plain fabric for a sleek look or choose a print for a more novel effect. All right. Now we're getting into the more traditional Berta styling where they just like throw in a hat, give her some polka dot tights and these weird booties. <clears throat> okay, but we have a, you know, pretty straightforward um, uh, dirndl, is that what you call it, dirndl dress? Um, with a little Peter Pan collar. Uh, I think these are just roll, like pushed up sleeves. Okay. This is the other version. Oh, look at that, like shirred neck. That was very high fashion. Same thing with the cuff. I kind of like that. Maybe not in this like crazy busy fabric, but I think she looks very chic. And then it's pretty much ankle length. And I think there might be a layer here. Okay. 
Yeah, so you have your little collar, a little dart, a little elbow dart, and then this one has an extra layer sewn to the bottom. Cool. All right, interfacing. Uh, does this mean bias tape? I can't remember. This means something, it's not elastic. Elastic thread and an invisible zipper. Viscose, rayon, crepe fabrics, cottons, and muslin. I've actually never seen muslin as a fabric suggestion before. That's funny. I can't remember what this is. Maybe it'll tell us in the description. Uh, 8 to 18. Young and fun dresses in different styles. Check fabric lends a sporty touch to the charming mini dress with a Peter Pan collar. In contrast, the long floral dress with a tiered skirt ensuring at the collar and cuffs is unabashedly romantic. Yeah, totally. I mean, kind of a nod to like the Victorian era and all of that. If you did this in like a really beautiful cream color or something along those lines, I think that you would be, you'd look like a million bucks. All right, next up is loose fitting top with sleeve variations. It's kind of a name of the game. I think we're seeing as many of these as we are pull on pants. So, I mean, okay. V-neck has a full on dolman sleeve with like a sewn on long sleeve, really. Elastic uh, wrist, and I think that's it. There might be maybe a dart here. And then this one has kind of like a flutter, like a flounce sleeve. I don't understand why this sleeve is shorter in the front than it is in the back. Like I don't love that you can see the hem in there, but on this one you can't. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. There's a third one, this guy, which is long with a little flounce or ruffle or something. Shoot, I already forgot. What am I calling ruffles? Frills with a frill on the bottom. <laughs> and then it has a little tie sleeve. That's cute. Yeah, I mean, they're all right. This one has elastic down here too. I just don't, I don't know if I love myself in oversized uh like very loose fitting lightweight fabric tops like this one it should mean it just should be a dress like let's just make that a dress you know extend this by i don't know six inches or something just to make it a dress already but the drop waist yeah i don't know i don't know I mean, these versions are cute. Yeah, I don't know. Not for me, probably. Okay, eight to 18. A fresh look for summer blouses, loose and casually cut with a V-neck and oversized shoulders. View A features bell sleep sleeves. View B and C have long sleeves gathered at the wrist. A frill at the hem of UB adds length to transform the blouse into a tunic top. Okay. We have a bunch more to go through. Big release here. Okay. <clears throat> Sheath dress, waisted, and length and sleeve variations. What does that mean? Wasted. Oh, uh, like it has a waist seam? Okay, the sleeve here looks better, the fit of the sleeve. And then, is that a bracelet? That might be a bracelet, yeah. Knee length. There it is, color blocked. Again, I'm really digging these little mock collars. That with the cuff, that's so cute. And then this one's a little long. <clears throat> I mean, it's intended to be that way. Um, yeah, and then you have your front darts at the, uh, on the bodice and the skirt, a waist seam, a kick pleat in both of them. Yeah, but I mean, you can do this with 
patterns you probably own. This color blocking, that to me is what is most striking about it. Um, but, you know, it's just color blocked. It's not anything that you couldn't figure out how to do with patterns at home. Um, I'm trying to remember if I have anything with this little mock neck. I love that detail. For this time of year, you know, fall, transitional stuff. Okay, 8 to 18, a lace seam and darts sculpt these ultra chic dresses to your figure. View A is bold in an exciting print. View B exudes sheer elegance in black and white with a stand collar and sleeve bands. Yeah. But, I mean, guys, are nothing special. Like I said, you probably have something like this already. You know? Okay. Here's another Durndal style dress. Maybe I misspoke earlier. Is Durndal more fit and flair? What, what, what style of dress is that other one? Baby doll, maybe? Um, Durndal style blouse and apron. This is going to be something else. Oh, sure is. Okay. I feel like we should just skip to here first. Let's let's just cover this. Okay, so you have, oh my word. Okay, you have a skirt with a sewn on belt and shearing and gathers and something happening along the hem. Then you have this dress with this very deep neckline. This is not intended to be worn without something underneath it. Uh, buttons, some very interesting seaming details, pleats, and like, uh, this is all open. No buttons or anything, I don't think. Um, and then some more seaming in the back. Then you have this top with elastic at the, it's like a crop top, elastic at the waist, some trim for the collar and the sleeve like band thing, and it buttons up. Then What's the difference in all of this? Okay, so D looks to be shorter than C, B shorter than A, and F is just like different trim, I guess. So when you put all of that together, this is what you get. There's the skirt over the dress, over the top. Yeah, this is quite an outfit. This almost feels like a costume design that they're just trying to make like a ready to wear situation. You know what I mean? Very, um, oh God, what's the, uh, St. Pauli girl, that beer with the steins. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing. <laughs> I mean, the top is freaking adorable in that eyelet. And that is very inspiring to me to get a top like this to wear underneath some of my summer dresses, especially the ones that are more like solid or a linen or, you know, something. This is cute. This is all the rest of it is just way too much. So eight to 18, two charming dirndles. Choose a link over the knee or midi. Decorative details such as trims, piping, ribbons, and choice of fabric make all the difference here. You can also choose between two variations of dirndl blouses. And then here we didn't cover the back. There's all your fabric and then all your notions. So piping, elastic, some other kind of trim, more elastic and more trim. Buttons, interfacing, whatever this little thing's called. <laughs> cotton, linen, lining, batiste, taffeta, embroidered cotton. Okay. Whoa. I definitely spoke too soon on the styling. Okay. Uh, what was it? Is this just a top? Two sweatshirts and two styles designed for stretch knits. Okay. So kind of wide open neckline here. I don't really understand the contrast color blocking pattern blocking situation, but here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, drop shoulder with a sleeve and a sleeve band. And then the other one looks like this. This is kind of cute now. This is a fun idea. This little 
it's not really a drawstring. I don't think you actually pull it tight, um, but just a little detail with the eyelets. This, on the other hand, you have little, some, it's, it's threaded through something. Maybe it's just that this trim isn't super substantial. I mean, it looks a little sloppy, I guess. But look, there's a seam line here and here too, which is also kind of fun. Then they scrunch this up real high. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to imagine this one, like not in this wild fabric. Uh, I'm surprised I have not had to, to say that this entire video. Normally, like every pattern, I'm like, just imagine it in a different fabric. <laughs> um, this, yeah, so they both have these style lines here, which I think is a really cool and interesting detail for a sweatshirt. I don't know that they provide any sort of shaping or anything, but they're certainly interesting. It reminds me of paper cut patterns. Didn't she do something similar to this sweatshirt wise? Um, and then it's this one's longer in the back, which is also kind of cool. I just think this is a fun detail that I've never seen before. You know, it feels different. So this must be this like twill tape, I guess. Metal eyelets, sweatshirting, fiber fleece, and jersey. I wonder what this would look like if you didn't tie the thing around it and just had this there. Like more like, or what if you did it like this with the sleeve band <laughs> cuff <laughs> and also a hem band, like more like a regular sweatshirt, but just with this extra detail. I don't know. A new take on traditional sweatshirt style. Make it up in either a longer length with a draw with a drawstring casing at the back and at the neck. Oh, so the back of this one is an actual casing that the drawstring feeds through. Huh, but it stops at the side seam. Okay, well, that's a little bit better than it just being like belt loops. <laughs> <clears throat> um, or combine a mix of prints and add sleeve bands. Should you prefer a more subtle look, mix an array of solid fabrics <laughs> instead. Should you, pre should you, what does it say? Prefer, should you prefer a more subtle look? That's funny. Okay, next up, tops, loose fitting, length, and sleeve options. All right, so a little like neck band crossover thing. A drop shoulder with a bell sleeve and shirt tail hemish looking thing. Then we've got this fun one. That's super cute. Is this a bow? I mean, we'll look at these in a second, but the back has some kind of like elastic or like or gathers or something and yeah that's a bow and then you also have like the drop shoulder with just a little like sleeve band thing that's cool all you need for interfacing all you need for um, notion is interfacing and then your fabric you don't really need a lot lightweight cotton fabrics crepe fabrics viscose rayon let's look at these so there's a little crisscross thing happening. And then in the back, it didn't call for elastic, so it just must be gathered or something. I don't know, that's feeling kind of bizarre. Right, shouldn't it be like this where it's flat and then the gathers come from the bottom? Maybe this is just some kind of error, I don't know. Um, I do love this hem though, more so than this one to be honest. And the little bow is a cute little detail. The I feel like this would be like in an Ann Taylor or something, you know, especially if you made it in like a silk or, you know, something really beautiful, expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could make a really beautiful top, I think, that you would wear lots of places. Cute. 
All right, eight to 18 is the sizing. Wonderful summer blouses, slip, oh, simple in style with fanciful accents. The shallow neckline of blouse view A is a real eye catcher with the neckline band divided at center front. The bias cut collar of view B gets a pretty twist at the left shoulder. So bias cut collar on this one. Cool. All right, now we are on this little knit dress with empire line seaming length and sleeve options. Does she have socks on? Okay, they didn't put any shoes on her. So yeah, it's got this pretty little detail. I like that, that's pretty. Center front seam here. Again, with like the really big sleeves. And then again, just pushed it up, which I wish they didn't do that because that isn't really telling me how long the sleeve is really drafted for, you know? But I also get to try to make it look as cute as possible. This one, they just straight up covered the sleeve. Like I can't even tell what's happening. But this has some little buttons. Look how low this is. Is this one that low? Yeah, I guess so. Um, and it's a lot longer. I mean, it's a cute outfit, but like, I need to be able to see what's happening here. Um, so A has a bell sleeve. You'd never know it. There's also kind of a bit of a front shoulder and gathers at the shoulder seam. And then this just looks to be like a regular slim, like close fitting long sleeve. Pretty though. The, the line drawing, you know, pretty simple, but classic also. Okay, so you need some elastic for the waistband, a button or a four button um, interfacing and then jersey fabric. Okay, 8 to 18 on the sizing. A feel good jersey dresses. A bit of extra width thanks to gathers at the forward shoulder seams. Allow these dresses to nicely skim your figure in front. The back is fitted with elastic at the waist. A loose and flared skirt finishes off the garment. So yeah, I didn't notice that before, but the front doesn't have any elastic and the back does. So that's kind of nice. You can just cinch it in as much as you want. Um, what else? Knit tops with asymmetric hemline. This could be cute. Okay, wide bateau neckline, drop shoulder with the long sleeve. And then is there ruching or is it just cut that way? Okay, so yeah, there's definitely something happening here. Um, this also has the drop shoulder with the without the little sleeve thing. Um, so it's just like a dolman sleeve. And then like the envelope neckline, maybe more so than boat neck. Here the girls are together. Well, that's weird. It, so it isn't ruched. Why are they making it look all rushy? <laughs> you know? And then it's cut like this little angle thing. Maybe it creates its own. I've never seen anything like that. I'm guessing when you put this on your body, which your body is not shaped like this, it's up and down. Something happens here, I guess. That's kind of fun. Um, all you, wow, well, all you need is the little twin needle or a cover stitch and some jersey fabric, not even a lot of it. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's it. This is interesting. Uh, you know, anytime a pattern, like how I initially thought, oh, there must be elastic in here or it's gathered on the side, but then when it's not, I want to make that pattern even if I don't love the garment because I just want to learn what like how it is impacted when you wear it you know what I mean like does this make these little make these little ruchy things maybe 
I'll never know unless I actually go sew it up. Okay, 8 to 18. Energetic asymmetric tops are exciting fashion. The pattern is cut on a curve, making it so easy to gather at the side. That's cool. An angled hem follows the lines of the design. Do you prefer sleeves or the sleeveless variation? You're free to choose, again, with the permission. Um, this is cute. This is cool. This is fun. It is exciting. They're right. All right. Half-lined stable knit jacket, like a Ponte jacket. A Ponte blazer or... Um, I mean, you can even do like sweatshirt fleece. Let's see what they recommend toward the end. But okay, so you've got this really cool collar. It's only in the front. Or it's kind of like just a lapel, you know? And then a button, big patch pockets. And they scrunched up the sleeves again. Oh my gosh, a frill on the sleeve. I love a frill sleeve and a frill pocket. Oh, okay, this one's definitely going to happen. I love that. Y'all love it. I'm calling them frills. <laughs> okay, there's the fabric. You need interfacing, one button, and shoot, there's that again. Twill tape, maybe? They're saying firm jersey. That's really not specific enough. Um, like I said, ponty knit would be great. Sweatshirt fleece. Just a knit, a fabric that has been knitted, like knit fabric that is sturdy. So it wouldn't have a ton of stretch to it, you know, but it would still have some give more so than a woven would. But yeah, it's got all the right style lines. This is so cute. How cute would that be in a Ponty knit? I love that. This jersey blazer is so chic, stylish, and comfortable. Here you have different variations also in length. They all share a close fit, a V neckline, and forward shoulder seams. Let's look at the line drawings. I skipped those. Okay, so yeah, forward shoulder with just a lapel. I mean, also you could do a little frill all along here too if you wanted to tie in kind of a collary looking thing to the frills. You know what I mean? And then this is a beautiful style line. So is this one, two part sleeves. You've got the princess seams in the back with a center back seam. Like this is gonna fit really well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also thinking of like, I guess that's Ponty. And the fact that it's half lined, like I wonder how that works in a blazer. Does it just flap, you know? Is it sewn down somewhere somehow? It looks like it ends somewhere in this vicinity. Something's happening. Cool. I love this one. 8 to 18. Okay. Now we have v-neck blouses in two lengths. Okay. So this one has a little collar with ties and sleeve cuffs. I can't tell really what's happening here, but I feel like there's maybe some pleating happening and then it opens up into the sleeve, which that's really beautiful. Here it is with no collar, nothing happening to the sleeve, just some contrast. That's kind of like, you know, a chic take on a button-up, like, like a deconstructed button-up, sort of. Okay, yeah, there are pleats here. Oh, this little thing, the tie comes from somewhere else. Interesting. You've also got a bust dart on both of them. And this little, I don't know what that is. This little something or another here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like a little hook. You know, are you supposed to hang it up that way? I don't know. <clears throat> this thing comes from the back and goes, I think, under the collar to tie. 
that's certainly different. I mean, the hems leave a little bit to be desired. You know, maybe you can alter it into a shirt tail hem, be a little bit more flattering instead of just being like a rectangle. Um, okay, fabric, interfacing, buttons. We've already seen the line drawings. Cotton fabrics, viscose rayon crepe fabrics. Okay. It's kind of cool for a button down. Here is a different blouse style with a tie collar and v-neck. The collar is long and the bands are loosely tied below. Pin tucks on the sleeves are an extra eye-catching detail. Do you prefer a more sporty look? Then DB with a patch pocket is just what you're looking for. Okay. Unlined jacket with bell sleeves. <coughs> Okay, it looks like some kind of like double breasted action happening up here. Bell sleeves, like it says. It does have a facing, even if it is unlined. And I love when jackets are unlined, but the seams are finished, like Hong Kong seams or something. I think that that looks really sharp still. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it kind of crosses over, buttons into a funnel neck. And then, yeah, the sleeve is gorgeous. I, I think I kind of don't mind bell sleeves on a jacket because you wouldn't be, like, eating in the jacket or, like, you would take that off when you got to where you were going. But it's real chic. It's like a, a little bit more of a more sophisticated, tailored cape. Here's the line drawings. That's a nice little dart. Yeah, that's cute. What fabrics? Wool, tweed, fiber fleece, and fold. Fold fabric? I don't know what fold fabrics are. But, I mean, her, like, let's compare. Hers is like, that could be wool. It's a little drapier than this one, which is more of like a woven, weaved, oh, you know what I mean? Um, sort of like, uh, I know it's not boucle, but sort of like that. It's a more of a coating. This is got a little more of a sheen to it. Hmm. Uh, eight to eighteen. An amazing jacket with an integral collar and a side fastening. The wide sleeves are stylish yet casual. The flared bell-shaped lines of the jacket make a cape-like impression. You would think I wrote these descriptions. I swear I didn't <laughs> or I didn't read them ahead of time or anything. The sleeves of the jacket view A are slightly cropped. <clears throat> and you don't really need a lot of notions. Yeah, I think with the right fabric, this could be really cool. But I'm a sucker for jackets. Okay, next page. My goodness, you guys. This is going to be the longest video in the history of videos. Yep, we've got this whole page left to do. Okay, so maybe go take a bathroom break or go get some tea or something. <laughs> okay. Pull on tops <coughs> designed for stretch knits. Oh, well, that's cute. It's got a little, like, I guess it's technically a pleat open on both ends. That one's also cute. I can't really tell what's going on there, though. Do they just put a belt over top? That's definitely belted, right? <laughs> it's not in the drawing, but this looks even like an ITY or something. Yeah, belted there. I think these are, I, I can't talk. These are so cute. And you got the two different necklines, which is nice. Jersey lightweight knits. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty straightforward, but they're cute. I like that. Um, 
detail in the front because it is, you know, kind of like a little boxy top, but it really does pull in just enough on the sides, giving you fullness here and here where you need it. Hello, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I mean, look how cute it is with this little outfit even. And this little work outfit. Cute, right? <clears throat> okay, 8 to 18. Uh, you can never have too many pretty jersey tops or other fine knit tops. Ooh, what about cashmere? Here are two delightful styles for many occasions. The inverted pleat in front is a refreshing detail. I agree. Choose between a v-neck or scoop neckline. Perfect. This is knit dresses with neckline, skirt, and sleeve variations. All right, I don't know so far what I think about this little guy. I have a, a pattern like this, but this little thing is up here. Um, it's a long sleeve with a little flounce cuff thing. Kind of like a open neckline. And it's hard to tell what's a seam and what's not with this geometric print, but that is not a seam. And then you've got this like cummerbund thing. Here it is with a crossover, you know, a wrap detail. That to me looks nicer. This looks nicer than this. Maybe the fabric was throwing me off. Look at her hat. <laughs> I don't know. What do we think about this being like? It also does seem a little higher on her. You know, it starts way up here on her, it seems. And this girl starts more at the natural waist. But this, the line drawings look like it starts in the same place. <clears throat> so you need a zipper and a twin needle and some jersey fabric. Yeah, they still look like they start in the same place. Oh, maybe it's throwing me off because the length is longer? No, she must just be more long-waisted is all. I think they're cute. I don't, I would be curious to know how it's all constructed. Like, is this like an overlay piece or is it sewn into the bodice, ruched, and then sewn into the skirt? And if that's the case, you could still raise it. You just make this shorter and make this part of the skirt longer. You know, that's not that difficult. Um, let's see what it says. So 8 to 18 on the sizing. Flattering jersey dresses will show off your curves. Dress view A features a V-neck and band. Dress view B has a scoop neckline and small flounces on the sleeves. Both styles feature draping at the waist and hip to nicely skim your figure. I think I like it. <laughs> I think this would be very camouflaging, which for me, I like to camouflage that part of me. <clears throat> I feel like we're really hitting a stride. All right, pull on blouses in two lengths. So yeah. Pretty basic here. V-neck with a facing, set-in sleeve, uh, some kind of sleeve cuff or something. Hard to tell the difference in the two, just on the with the fabrics. What do y'all think of her pants? <laughs> Those are something else. Synthetic leather joggers. Um, so this creates like a crossover foldy pleaty thing happening. The back has a yoke with two pleats and one has like a bell cuff and the other one has a regular cuff. You just need a couple buttons and your fabric and some interfacing. Lightweight cottons, viscose rayon, crepe fabrics and silks. Oh and the two different hems as well. 
Can you write? Oh, size is 10 to 20. That's interesting. The latest blouses are casually loose fitting and just the right length to pair with pants. Details are the shoulder yoke, small pleats in back and long sleeves. The eye catching V neckline and a single pleat at the side are finishing touches. Choose between a straight hem or rounded edges. What? A what? Single pleat at the side? It must mean this. Hmm. Okay. Um, dress, princess sleeves, flared or slim skirt. Knockout in red. So it is has a waist seam with princess seams and princess seams down here too. A little sleeve, short sleeve here. Here's the like circle skirt, cute with the turtleneck, I think. Same V neckline, longer sleeves. And a waistband on this one? Yeah, I'm more of a waistband. And also, so two things are happening here and a center front seam. There's kind of a lot now <laughs> that I'm looking at it. So it looks like a center front seam, a dart, and a princess seam. Wow. And then also here. There's another little seam right here. And then this is cut on the cross grain. I like how they put the darts in all their sleeves. That's cool. So a zipper and some interfacing. Lightweight wools, crepe fabrics, and blends. So there's a weight. Oh, this is like... This goes into this waistband. That is super interesting. <clears throat> and then here it's just the regular full waistband. Hmm, that's cool. 8 to 18. And then two pretty dresses with interesting lines to accent the waist. View A is figure flattering with a narrow skirt. View B charms with a wide cut bias bell shaped skirt. So it's not a circle skirt, bell, yeah, maybe, I don't know what bell shaped means, but a bell and a circle are kind of the same. <laughs> um, top with length and sleeve options, okay, these are kind of all starting to look the same, am I right? Um, this one has the same envelope, neckline, drop shoulder possibly, with a long sleeve, pretty loose fitting, shapeless. <laughs> well, and then of course I like this one. So this one has the frills on the sleeve and on the hem. That's super cute. I wish I liked more than one, but such is life. I mean, this one isn't awful. I certainly would wear it. Hmm. Yeah, so the neckline is actually a little more complicated than I thought. Um, it's actually like gathered on the shoulder. That's kind of fun. This sleeve reminds me of the Berta style top that I made for Stylemaker Fabric Spring Style Tour earlier this year, the chambray colored one. And I like that top. Okay, 8 to 18. <clears throat> this, or the straight cut tops with a scoop neckline are slightly gathered at the shoulders to create extra volume. The narrow sleeves on view A are an interesting contrast. Oh, the narrow sleeves are a contrast to the voluminous top. Okay, view B is made up with frills at the sleeve and hem. Okay, this one looks cute already. Uh, just a top designed for knits. It's got a little bow something and a little gathering something. Ooh, very open neckline. 
yeah, something happening here, and then a little flounce up the sleeve, hem. Oh, and there's also a seam here. Cute. But it's fun. You could do like a fun color block moment too, where all of this, including the sleeve, is like hot pink, for example. And then all of this, including the sleeve, is like red. You know, like a monochromatic thing. Cream and beige, gray and black. That could be fun. Jersey and a twin needle and not a lot of fabric at all. Cute. Six to 16 on the size ranges here. New styles to expand your t-shirt collection. Both have unique details such as an angled yoke section on the front and gathering at one side seam. View A includes a pretty tie collar. View B features a scoop neckline and small flounces on the sleeve. All right, next up, wrap dress with length and sleeve options. So yeah, a little flouncy collar, which y'all know I love. And then, yeah, wraps and ties three-quarter sleeves with a little flounce thing. Okay. Well, that's pretty. This one even uses the D-rings and it has little bands. It has um, also these little pleats here, which I think are really nice to help, you know, help it fit through here, which can always be such a struggle. It does seem a little bit low. I mean, her bust apex is like somewhere around here and this is almost in line with that. So keep that in mind. Yeah, let's skip to this. So there's your little flounce sleeve, flounce collar, same little pleats here, also darts here. Oh, this one also has, you can roll them up and um, use the sleeve tabs if you want. <laughs> the militaryness of this, I'm not necessarily in love with, but easy enough to leave that off and just have a more simple design. So, yeah, a... <sighs> four buttons. Oh, it must be one, two, three, four. And then A and B, you need this little snap thing. So they must be having you sew that in here. And then interfacing. Stretch fabrics only. Yeah. I mean, without any of this extra frilly stuff, it's a DVF classic knit wrap dress. 8 to 18 on the sizing. Charming wrap dresses with different styling features. Dress view A is fancifully feminine with a flounce neckline and small flounces at the sleeves. A patch pocket and sleeve tabs are sporty details on dress view B and create a totally different look. I, I will give them that. Two lengths, too. Cool. Oh, no. I was just talking about harem. Oh, pull on harem or cropped wide leg pants. Harem is really like a drop crotch, I think. Am I right? That's what they're really referring to. It almost looks like this is a little bit flat through here and the elastic starts somewhere around here. I can't tell if there's any pockets. And then this is the wide leg version. It is a beautiful leg, I will say. The shape of it is really pretty. <clears throat> This is definitely a more sporty look. I mean, I love the waistband that they use. That's fun. <clears throat> A 
yeah, it's like a dressy and a casual version. And it is flat right here on this version. That's kind of, I don't know. I like these. <laughs> they look comfortable. I don't think there's pockets. Okay, so yeah, B is using a rib knit waistband. And seeing as I was just in New York City, they have a bunch of them um, at Pacific Trim, which I think you can order online through Pacific Trim. I feel like a few years ago when I was trying to find some of these, it was a little bit harder to find, but now a lot of places carry them and carry the cute ones like they used here where it's like different colors and stuff. Um, they have a lot of really cute ones now. And then this is the elastic for this waistband. And these things, cuffs. <laughs> They're recommending crepe fabrics, cotton fabrics, viscose rayon, but like, y'all think that's a woven fabric? I guess so. I just assumed it was like a really lightweight French terry or something, but I guess maybe it's a rayon. That is even cooler to me. I don't know why. I guess because it seems a little bit less like you just pulled on your workout sweatpants. It seems a little bit more intentional, I guess. I really like this one. I like how different they are, but the same, you know? And like the outfits, I mean, obviously this is like a dressy thing, but look how cute that is. Like I would totally go to Target in that. <laughs> You know, I might make this a little bit more narrow, but <clears throat> I don't know. I really like it. 8 to 18 on the sizing. Pants in leisure look. Easy to pull on and with comfortably wide legs. View A has a section of elastic in the integral waistband. The waistband for View B is sewn into the garment. This style also features wide elastic at the lower leg edges, a.k.a. hems. All right, wow. I immediately thought of Romy and Michelle's high school reunion on this. So <laughs> that tells you anything. Oh gosh. Tunic blouse, loose fitting in two lengths. Again with this sleeve situation. And then this one's got a stand collar and a V neck with like a little facing. And then I assume without this belt, it's just like very loose and boxy. There's even a dart here. I don't really know why they're putting these darts in these very loose fitting tops. Here it is. Now, is that the exact same thing, just with a different neckline? Huh. I think it's the exact same thing with a different neckline. Wow, that makes a world difference without the little stand collar. Also the fabric application, you know, like, okay, sure, maybe this is a little stiff, but at least it's not like satin. <laughs> and then the back, look at this yoke in the back, the yoke that goes into the arm. That's interesting. You can see it better there. I don't hate it. And this is the kind of thing that really, like I said, it kind of inspires me, you know? Like I think, okay, sure, yeah, I can make the same old like willow tank or any of those blouses that are just like what you see and ready to wear, what you see, you know, all over Instagram and everything. Or you could take the same fabric and make something like really kind of unique and different and like, a statement you know what I mean so I get torn between the side of myself that just wants to blend in and the side of myself that really wants to stand out and like how sewing fits into that you know what I mean like I don't my mood doesn't allow me to always want to stand out but I feel like I should have some of those pieces in my wardrobe you know what I mean 
All right, lightweight cotton fabrics, viscose rayon, silk, and crepe fabrics. Yeah, I prefer the drapiness of this one, how it lays just closer to her body, but I prefer the, like, more modern, less shiny, you know, version of this. <clears throat> okay, 8 to 18. The latest blouses are putting sleeves in the spotlight. This style has deep set and gathered sleeves. The gathered back section creates a casual, looser fit. A band and small stand collar adorns the neckline of blouse view A. Okay. Now we have tunic or blouse with front wrap and sash tie. Okay, this is kind of cute, like a, I don't know, kind of like a robe, really. With a little cuff. Oh, a frill? You, you're killing me with the frills. I cannot resist a frill <laughs> to save my life. Hello, Valentino. I love that. But again, this is like, I was just saying, like, this is like a classic button-down, right? But better. Like, yeah, I can make a button-down that looks the exact same as any women's clothing store button down. It will fit me phenomenally better than those in the store, but it would look the same, you know, if you hung them on hangers. This on the other hand is just like elevated and exceptional and you wear that and people go, wow, that is like, it's so subtle, the difference, but it's not subtle at the same time. It's very, very loud, the difference. So maybe that's where I'm kind of going with my personal style, you know? Hmm. Food for thought. <clears throat> okay, a little snap, I think, for this little area here. Oh, no, you need two of them. Maybe here and here. And then two buttons for the sleeve, I guess. And then interfacing, cotton fabrics, crepe fabrics, this goes rayon. I mean, I feel like this one could be lots of different fabrics, this one would be more relegated to just shirting. Wall, cotton types, stuff like that. This one would also make a beautiful dress. I mean, so would this one. Just lengthen them to dresses. You can do a lot of fun stuff with these. These are cute. Another one. Oh, look at the back too. Really nice. Yeah, I like these. Okay, 8 to 18 on the size. Figure fitting wrap blouses will impress both at the office and otherwise. The blouse with the narrow shawl collar has a tie belt and three quarter sleeves with a sleeve band. The blouse with the neckline frill features rounded offside slits and cuffed sleeves. Cute. All right, now we've got some pants. They are not pull-on, amazingly. They've got an actual waistband. Uh, it looks like just regular side seam pockets, some pleats, maybe a back patch pocket. Here they are in some kind of like denim colored woven fabric. Oh, the little belt carriers and a sash. Oh, uh, the, the pockets are more of slash pockets. This is a welt with a little button-down doodad. And then maybe a little notch in the back there. Oh, uh, interfacing, a little zipper. Oh, a bell? Uh, what's it called? Ring, double, I don't know what those are called. And then a button. For A? Oh, I think the back waistband of A has this in at the center. I think it wasn't a notch. Oh, well, that's kind of fun. It's a notch and a little thingy. 
are you intended to like actually <laughs> adjust this? I don't know. <laughs> I do like how the front has the pleats and the back has the darts. It's like loose and then fitted. Oh, and a side zip. I do like a side zip on a pant. I don't know why, but I feel like they always fit better uh, through the waist. <laughs> I, I have no explanation for why, but that's my personal experience. Wool, gabardine, and cotton fabrics. Yeah, these are cute. A new twist on an old classic. The wide Marlene Dietrich style pants with front pleats and a side zipper. View A has wide turn up cuffs. View B is cropped at a 7 eighths length and finished off with a tie belt. The, whack, the back waistband with tabs on view A is a chic extra styling detail. Those are chic and they do fit her really well. All right, a nud dress with a neckline and length options. Pretty ill-fitting situation happening here. Uh, wow, I haven't seen much of this this entire collection, but maybe because her hand's up or maybe because it's drafted poorly, hard to say, but something's happening. <laughs> That's very clear to everyone, right? <clears throat> it has a waistband and then these little angled darty things, which are fun. The sleeve does look great whenever she has her hands down. I just, if this looks so bad like this, I don't know why they wouldn't have chosen a picture with her both arms down. I just, that doesn't make sense to me. And then here it is with a rounded neckline. And I don't think anything's happening here, but maybe some kind of that same pleat thing. Yeah, I think the same pleat thing's happening. The sleeve again is really beautiful. Okay. So yeah, center back zip, darts on the bodice and the skirt, darts in the sleeve, and this little guy here. <clears throat> Yeah, so these darts, these darts are interesting because it is more of a fitted skirt, right? But it gives extra room, just a little bit in that low hip area where pear-shaped people like me often, that area feels a little bit uncomfortable when you typically, <laughs> when you wear these more fitted <coughs> skirts. But this would give just a little bit extra wearing ease, you know? Hmm, intriguing. Okay, a zipper and some interfacing. I will say they aren't necessarily, not a lot of them have any kind of lining at all. I think maybe one had lining and I think it was a jacket. Um, so to me, it's not that hard to convert a faced garment to a lined garment. It just depends on the fabric that I'm using for the fashion fabric, but I don't know, just interesting thing to note. Two-way stretch fabrics only, jersey fabrics with stretch content. <coughs> That's a funny way to say it, stretch content. Okay, 8 to 18, slender feminine shirt dresses. I wouldn't call them a shirt dress. With three quarter sleeves. View A is made with a wrap top and v-neck. View B has flattering shallow scooped neckline. Pleats at just one side of the skirt lend an extra special touch. All right. Here's one, another dress. With or without sleeves, flared or straight skirt. So it's got a Interesting little neckline with pleats, possibly. This feels like a dolman sleeve, just a really short dolman sleeve. And I can't tell if there's a waist seam here or not. I'm assuming so, just based on the fit. 
And then here's the other version. This has, do the other one have like a neck band? Yeah, I guess so. So there's also a neck band, same doodad with the gathers here. Is the whole sleeve grown on or is it sewn on here? It could be sewn on. And then this one does have a waist seam. Okay. Here they are together. Oh, this isn't gathered. This is maybe pen tugged. Yeah, and it's the same bodice, but the sleeve is sewn on. Okay. Crepe fabrics, cotton fabrics, and jacquard. So also woven for woven. I like this one. I like that it's like wide, narrow, wide, <laughs> narrow. It gives that hourglass. This, I gotta find out, maybe this is gathers. I don't know. Invisible zipper, an interfacing, size 8 to 18. <clears throat> Chic dresses for everyday wear. The narrow band with gathers at the neckline is an eye catcher for both styles. View A is made up with three quarter sleeves and a wide pleated skirt. View B is sleeveless and the skirt is narrow. Okay. Cute little jacket with a hood option. Very chic, very cool. Love it, it's lined. Interesting length. I like how it's fitted. I love the hidden button placket. I love the faux fur situation. Oh, and here's one with a big collar and a yoke maybe, <laughs> and a belt with carriers, more like a trench. But still, the covered buttons are really cool. <clears throat> it even has this little wider belt carrier for the back. This looks like a flap. I think it's I think it's called a gun flap. And it was uh, traditionally added to military jackets because they needed the extra fabric there for whenever they fought whenever they fired guns, you know, and the guns would backfire, they needed more fabric there or something. I remember picking up that little tidbit of knowledge somewhere along the way. <laughs> okay, so it also looks like the fur trim is removable. So that's fun. You can have the hood and add the trim when you want it and leave it off when you don't. So I imagine you need a gajillion notions for this. You need your interfacing. You need your separating zipper. You need your snaps. You need more snaps. <laughs> and that's for the... Um, and then two buttons, I'm assuming for this. And then two different sizes of these little ring things. Wool fabrics, firm cotton fabrics. Yeah, I think this must be like a wax cotton maybe. All of my Ankara girls, how cool would this be in an Ankara fabric? Talk about a statement. Okay, 8 to 18 on the sizing. Two new jackets with wholly different styling, both with a concealed zipper. Oh, okay, it's not hidden button. It's a hidden zip. <clears throat> Jacket view A is fashioned in trench coat style with sporty tabs and a belt. Jacket view B is a timeless piece with a stand collar and hood. The hood features a detachable fur band. Okay, now we've got another coat, double-breasted and lined. Wow, this is giving me strong Kate Middleton vibes. Could y'all not see her wearing this? Let's make it bigger. Maybe the model being brunette is also throwing this at me, but this whole thing happening here, so chic, so modern. The big patch pockets with the flaps, love this detail. I love this. This is a, like... Very, very elegant jacket. Oh, look at this cool fabric. So, is this the same?
I think one has snaps. I think these are snaps. I think, yeah, you can't see because her hand's covering up, but she has the patch pockets and she has the welt pockets. And no sleeve thingamajig. If I look at all these seam lines, let's get to the big ones. I mean, stunning princess seam here. Another seam coming down from here somewhere. Princess seams in the back. Double um, two-piece sleeves. A vent. You know, this is a really, really beautiful jacket. All right, so interfacing your buttons or snaps and then your D-rings for the belt <laughs> on A. Wools, boucle, and tweed are what they're recommending. So she's got, I guess it's a tweed, and she's got a wool. Beautiful. 8 to 18. These chic coats in Redding Goat. I never heard of that. Redding Goat style with a fashionable spade collar. Spade being this shape, I guess. Uh, are classics to wear for years to come. A garment of this type is worth the investment of time and effort to sew. The coats differ in length and styling details. Choose your favorite. Okay. My favorite is, I would say, uh, this one with the snaps and not the buttons. But they're both really nice. You pick a favorite now. <laughs> Do what they say. Okay. Um, skirt with front pleat in two lengths. Okay, it's got like a paper bag waist situation happening. Is this like a, um, oh, what's the name of it? It's falling out of my head. Maybe it's in here. Wool's Cotton Fabrics Jacquard. Okay, it's probably a Jacquard, but I was thinking um, it's gone. I'll think of it in a second. But yeah, you pull in these little darts here and then sew on a waistband and you have a waist, paper bag waist. Chic, cute. Here's another version without the paper bag waist, but they added a little covered belt, which is cute. I also really like it in the plaid, to be honest. You know, it's like back to school, but like a, for a woman, you know? Yeah, these are both cute. <clears throat> interfacing a zipper eyelets for your belt and then your belt um, hardware we already went over the fabrics 8 to 18 on the sizing new flared skirts feature not only two deep pleats in the front skirt panel but also angled pleats for a whole new look skirt view A has pleasingly high waist skirt view B has classic waistband with belt carriers and finished off with a belt So what did they say? Uh, two deep pleats on the skirt panel and then pleats within your pleats, I guess. For a whole new look. Huh. I didn't specifically notice that, but yeah, there's a pleat here and then also a pleat here. Let me get to the big ones. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> See how they pulled it in for one pleat here and then that's also pleated somehow. That's fun. It's like origami, origami with clothes. Okay, moving right along still. I don't remember these being so long, the Berta ones. I thought they had fewer patterns, but um, okay, this girl, this is cool. This is like a little sewn on neck tie collar thing that then becomes separated. And then a pretty sleeve. It's a little long for me. I don't really love tops that are that long personally, but. And then here's another one that's just tucked in. Let's ignore the skirt. Um, almost like a bias tape 
situation into a tie and then a little teardrop. And then also has something happening here to create this little flared, fit and flared sleeve action. Um, if they're different lengths, it's hard to tell how long this one is. But this is what's happening with the sleeve. I guess like pin tucks or something or inverted pleats maybe. You just need some interfacing for your facing. Viscose rayon, lightweight cottons, silk and crepe fabrics. Yeah, for, I mean, for a lightweight drapey top, it, the neckline is interesting enough, I guess. That sleeve, though, is really just, it's not that special, but on the line drawing, but when you look at it on her, I don't know, it's draping so beautifully in whatever fabric this is. <coughs> 8 to 18. Charming tunic tops with unique details. View A is longer, making it a perfect coordinate over pants. This style features side slits and a loose tie collar at the v-neck. View B is made up with a front slit. Oh, in the neckline. And with binding at the edge of the neckline. The pleats on the sleeve of this style are an especially interesting detail. Well, I'd say so. Here's another similar one. Peplum jacket with zipper closure. And also this little, like... Marvelous Mrs. Maisel action. That's cute. God, I'm in trouble with these jackets. I, I know I can't sew them all, but I want them all in my closet. <laughs> so kind of an exposed separating zipper, waist seam, darting, and then this. That's adorable. And then this has a turtleneck. That's not part of the pattern. <laughs> the pattern is just this little bias binding edge. This one also has little pleats and bias finish on the sleeve too. Cute. Okay, so yeah, separating zipper, bias, tape, and interfacing. Wolves, blends, jacquard. Yeah, really lovely. That's so cool. <clears throat> Feminine figure flatting peplum jacket in two sheet variations. View A with a tie collar is slightly longer. View B with three-quarter sleeves features binding at the neckline and sleeve hem. Pleats give the peplum an extra dose of style. <laughs> 8 to 18. All right, four more. So here's another coat and sleeveless jacket. Sleeveless jacket, okay. So it's got like a dolman thing happening, possibly like a little band or facing, a couple snaps, and that's it. And they've styled it with like very casual with joggers. That's a cute outfit. And then this one has the sleeves on it and a belt and patch pockets and it's longer. I mean, this one is very intriguing to me again <clears throat> probably a cinch to sew and it looks cute styled like this you know if this were like a little waffle knit top just some joggers and some sneakers like it's a very elevated athleisure kind of look this I could do without this I think the problem with what's happening here with this collection is that I really, really like one of the patterns and then either don't like at all the other one or am just like completely indifferent about it. Like I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm just indifferent. If anybody knows what I'm quoting. 
please let me know in the comments. I will love you forever. <laughs> I can't believe that it's so easily just integrated into my life. Okay. Um, anyways, like this is cool, but this is just whatever. I don't know. Yeah. All right. And so some snaps, some enamel snaps and a twin needle. Knits, firm jersey, or sweatshirty. 8 to 18. Fashion for women who like minimal and deconstructed styles. The cropped casual jacket with overcut shoulders or the long coat of knit fabric with patch pockets and a tie belt. Both styles feature an integral band set in at the neckline. All right, now we've got this looks like dress in two lengths. Um, it's got an interesting neckline detail that's actually really beautiful. This is nice. Okay, so yeah, you've got this neckline detail, possibly some elastic happening here. Beautiful long sleeve. I think it's set in with some elastic at the wrist and then like a traditional kind of regular hem. <coughs> You've also got this version. I feel like I've seen this fabric recently. Um, anyway, same with the neckline. They ditched the elastic, though. So you've got a little tie belt, which that just looks really sloppy. <laughs> um, and the sleeve. And then it's a little bit shorter. So here are the two versions together. Yeah, elasticized waist there. This is really interesting. Um, I like that little detail. And I think this must just be bias bound, which is also very interesting. Um, and then, oh, it also has a little pocket there, which I didn't notice before. Oh, and a cuff, which I definitely didn't notice before. I thought it was just like a regular turned up hem. <clears throat> but there is a cuff there, so. So, yeah, a lot of interesting details. I don't know about this little belt thing, though. Again, you guys know I'm not a fan of, like, the detached sash. I just think it's really lazy. Um... So I might just see what it looks like without it being cinched in at the waist, you know? Um, let's see. Here are our notions. We need a uh, little, what are those called? Oh, gosh. Stand buttons? That's not right. <laughs> Anyways, and then this is elastic. And then they're suggesting rayon, crepes, silks. Muslin must mean something else in German. Does that mean cotton? No, they normally put cotton. Who would make a dress out of muslin? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> okay, and here's our line drawings. Little keyhole back as well. Comes in sizes 8 to 18, all in one. The loose dresses with a small black slit win fashion points with a pretty gathering at the front neckline. I agree. Choose between sleeves with elastic at the wrist or with cuffs. Dress view A also features elastic at the waist. Fit dress view B to your figure with the tie band at the waist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't like a tie band. <laughs> Even if you can fit it to yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Sweatshirts. Okay, this is fun. So, really hard to tell what is going on here. Maybe a drop shoulder? Here's a sweatshirt dress with a little band down here, band at the neckline. I still think there's a drop shoulder happening. Here's one with a hood and a kangaroo pocket. And they rolled up the sleeves. Very loose fitting. Yeah, and there's like some kind of like ruching or pickups or something underneath the sleeve here. I honestly thought that it was just like being pulled on by her body. <laughs> I don't know. But there's definitely like an actual design feature there. And then here's the hoodie version. Um, the hoodie version is longer. It hits at the hip length. But I like might like to see it a little bit cropped, you know? These, I'm just, I don't know about these, these sweatshirt dresses, you know, I just don't know if that's for me. 
But yeah, okay, so here are the um, line drawings. These two have banded collars and then turned up sleeve hems and um, bottom hems. Well, but this one has a band too. So sweatshirting, knits, and jersey. And then here's our line drawings a little bit bigger. Yeah, and that real big drop shoulder and just very baggy. Yeah. Okay, comes in 10 to 20. Nothing better for everyday comfort. Sweatshirt or hoodie in varying lengths with typical styling details. I guess like of a sweatshirt. The pleats on the sleeves of views A and B are a new feature. Okay. All right, and then I think this is gonna be our last one since we don't handle the kiddos. We have got a lovely little dress with flared or pleated skirts. Love that fabric. It also looks like something's happening here. Beautiful high neckline, sewn in sleeve, fit and flare. It's like the dress of my dreams. Yeah, there's a waistband also. And oh, a beautiful pleat in the front. That's lovely. And I love how they um, hinted at making sleeveless, but then wearing a turtleneck underneath. Very seasonally appropriate. Here they both are. Oh, the skirt is cut on the bias, which is what this little arrow means. We've also got some bust darting and some back neck darts. A little something happening in the sleeve here. And then here's our sleeveless version, not cut on the bias. This is cute, I like this one. Okay, you need some interfacing and a zipper. That's really it. Rayon, cotton, and lightweight wools, yeah, mm-hmm, totally. I wonder what this is. It's gotta be a dart, but I've never seen a dart at the, or is that the elbow because it's really elbow length? Yeah, that's gotta be what that is. That's interesting. Berta loves an elbow dart, that's for sure. So yeah, a lot of really nice details here. And two very different looking dresses. I really like that. I love that they showed how to layer it. You could also layer it with like a button down shirt, you know, that is a very classic style. I don't think that'll ever, I mean, I know people have been doing that for decades, but I don't think that'll ever go out of style. Um, so that's fun. Good one. Simple dresses with a set in waistband and classic round neckline. Choose between a wide and swingy skirt or a slightly flared skirt with a deep inverted pleat. One style has three quarter sleeves, the other is sleeveless, yes. And sizes eight to 18. Yeah, I'm really digging this one. All right, so there you have it. That is our very long, <laughs> many, many patterns uh, for the Berta fall-ish uh, pattern collection. What do you guys think? Which are your favorites? Which will you be grabbing? Which ones do you love? Which ones do you hate? <laughs> Tell me everything in the comment section below. And like I told you guys on Monday, uh, this is a new feature for me, First Impression Friday. So we are gonna be getting first impression videos every single week from now on. So I know you guys love these videos and now you can start to expect them regularly. So. How about a thumbs up for that? <laughs> um, okay, so that's going to do it for me today. I will be back tomorrow for Sew Along Saturday. We'll be doing part two of our Sew Along uh, where we will be cutting out all the fabric. So y'all have a great Friday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.